So what do you have to vlog almost down? I want to take pictures of Quacksire, goddammit! But I gotta wait just a little bit longer. Because now we got our match going. We got Falco. We got the Rob. Let's see if Steve Burrow can fight off against Waddy, or if this wait for the robot was well timed. Yeah, and what's big when you fight against Rob is like you need to be aware of his combo starters and where he gets his openings from. Almost every Rob plays a unique way, so you just got to figure out like the stuff that Waddy was looking for in general. Rob, I find, is such an interesting, good character out of Ultimate because he has sound zoning tools. Like, you don't really want to be in his face. Yeah. And he can keep you at a distance as he needs. But he also has really good boxing tools. Like, his close range game is almost as dangerous as his long range game. So picking and choosing which range you want to try and fight him at, I feel like is very fluid. Yo. But Steve Bro's making these choices really nicely. Yeah, I'm telling you. Okay, back right back at him. But <laughs> Steve Rose is a nice Falco. I'm telling, I'm telling you, man. Played them online. One of the scariest people I've ever had to face. All right, well, let's see if he can stay clean because keeping an even game with Wadi is no easy feat, and especially demonstrated right here as Wadi's just going, bringing us from ledge to ledge. Plenty of damage racked up, and that Nair taking up so much space, locking down Steve Rose's options from the ledge. Yeah, and Wadi's already getting recognizing Steve Bro's habits on ledge. Steve Bro manages to get up, but 105% back on the other side of the ledge. He just brought him coast to coast, and he needs to find an opening. That drop did not help. Okay, back throw, most likely. I like the empty hop, waiting time. He's got, yeah, there we go. No reason to expend any of those resources. Very good stock from Wadi. Well, let's see if Steve Rowe can turn a reversal. Yeah, and Rob's dare is lasting for so long. Good job from Wadi to wait that out. Steve Rowe needs to finish his food. Excellent DI from Wadi. He's keeping him alive. That was a really solid combo from Steve Rowe. I didn't think he was going to go in for the kill at that point. Yeah. Wadi just blessed with the DIs of the god. Okay, but no the guys can save him from that back here right there. That was a call out of anything. Yeah, nah, you can't be you can't be empty hopping like that. Like on Falco. It's it's clean when you're guarding the ledge and you have all your resources in stock, because it's showing excellent patience, but like Falco has very respectable ground speed, very dangerous air control. You can't really be throwing yourself out there with no options. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm actually really surprised he managed to get that shield up in time from the spot dodge. Oh, I don't think he wanted that there. Okay. The drag down yep. fair, though, is going to present him with an opportunity for plenty of damage. He's got control, but he's not able to lock down the ledge. Why is he not playing perfectly coming off the ledge time and time again? Oh, just got clipped right there. Don't die. Oh, Great he got that immediately. Yeah, you, you saw that? I was like, man. This guy matched like his life depended on him. You would have thought he was a Game & Watch man in this life. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he said like enough. <laughs> he had enough of that back here. Oh, right over the lazy. That looked like Matrix level. Yeah, no, that okay. was super precise. And he DI'd the up air right, but he just wasn't prepared for the tech. Just like that, Roddy gets away with game one, but just barely. This man... <laughs> he got away with murder. Yo, he really did! But that was a really smart up air, because Steve was going off stage a lot, as you saw when he got his first kill with that there. And the right back at you, right there. <laughs> So, it was smart of Wadi just to like, yo, if he comes at me, I'm going to up air him. Because he can't do much when I'm down here. And it's my only term of defense from like being spiked. 
I'm curious to see what Game 2 provides for us, because I feel like when the battle was taking place to center stage, or just in general on stage, Steve Bro was in control. He was able to keep Roddy locked in shield for quite a lot of that match. If not, he was just in charge of the combo game. But once yeah. it got to the off stage, and especially at the ledge, Steve Bro was not able to hold any sense of control whatsoever. If he can tighten up that play, we're going to a game three. Yeah, and he started to drop shield early. He wanted to parry into up tilt right there for more damage, but just missed time to parry. And that's what's really good with Rob. They're just able to adjust their nair timings. So it gets really hard to parry, stuff like that. I feel like both of these players are adjusting themselves in real time to how their opponents adapt. And that makes for such an interesting game. Because at no point can you really rest on your laurels. Like right there, perfect punish out of shield from Wadi. He's going to present him with an early lead. Okay. Snares him. Yeah, that's tough. No, he's oh. good. He's good. Too early a percentage. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a liar. No, <laughs> I, I'm not. I think he was too shook to drift in a little bit. Wadi was not really in position for a down air, but Steve Rose still gave it to him. Yeah, it, it's really hard to just not be afraid, but the up tilt out of disadvantage into Bear is netting that stock, but he's a full stock behind, Hangman. It's rough doing, but I, I feel like Steve Rowe could at least bring us to even stocks, but Wadi has just hit the gas on this one. This is re looking ridiculous. That'll do it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, at 122, that far off the ledge, there's no coming back from that. Wadi decided to hit the red line, and just like that, it was a quick 2-0. Yeah, he, he hit the red pill, man. <laughs> that was... Oh, this was just a complete night and day shift as far as the tempo of the match is concerned. I feel like Wadi did not want to give Steve Rowe any time to take even the slightest bit of adaptation and turn that into something tangible. And he just kept swinging. We saw a lot more down tilt. We saw a, oh, just a lot more pressure in general throwing from ledge to ledge. Yeah, he basically brought him coast to coast at one point in the game. And Wadi was just able to adjust to Steve Bro's habits and just take advantage of like where his flaws were and just kill him early. And that's what happens with these top players, especially in like game two. Game one could be like super close last hit. And then game two, you, you can just get slapped up. And it's a shame Steve Rowe played it well. He just wasn't able to keep up to pace. I think yeah. the, the radical shift in play from Wadi was exactly what he needed. And that was a devastating loss in that game, mm -hmm. too. Also, I'm, I'm liking this background music. Some Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, this, I know this is one of like the umpteen songs that was added in from, the, um, from when Terry was added. Yeah. I feel like Terry was added to this game just as an excuse to give us SNK music. And I couldn't <laughs> be happier. It, it might be. Uh, I did get Cycle Soldier, so... Fun game!